Hello. So this video I wanted to do about accountability. Um, if you watched my New Year's Eve, New Year's uh, night video, um, then you'll know that I decided to do uh, the autoimmune protocol elimination diet again. Um, which includes no alcohol, so I'm doing dry January with my friend Stacy, who was also in the video. And if, if you didn't watch it, that's fine. It wasn't very good because it was outside and it was dark and we didn't have a whole lot of lighting. Um, anyway, so accountability. So for the autoimmune protocol, I am eliminating for 30 days, eliminating um, nuts and seeds, which includes chocolate. Um, dairy products, uh, beans, which I don't eat a whole lot of anyway, legumes like soy, kidney beans, chickpeas. Um, if I eat those, I just get vertigo, which is really, really weird. But so I don't generally eat those anyway. Um, and then there's like a bunch of other stuff that I'm eliminating. So um, I guess I'm on day seven now. What day is it? Is it or is it day eight? Is it the eighth of, I don't even know what freaking day it is anymore. The past few days have been just ridiculously stressful. Um, it's just uh, going back to work on the 4th after having a break of a week and it's always just insane at work because uh, we have the mail held for a week and then I come back and there's like stacks and stacks of mail and um, online stuff that I have to do. So it's just been really, really crazy with work and some people just um, insist on making life more difficult than it really needs to be, I think. Um, like Donald Trump, for instance, uh, that crap yesterday at the Capitol was just insane. If he uh, is not arrested for inciting a riot, um, he really needs to be and it just that, that was just terribly, terribly disturbing. Um, and the stress this week, I've had so many just really weird dreams, like you, you won't even believe it. The other night, I ha or morning, I don't even know what time of day it was, um, it was dark, I was, I was sleeping, um, and I had this nightmare that, okay, my sisters and I, um, Chrissy and Jenny, they're both younger than I am, we were out and, um, I had rented a car. I didn't even know what town we were in. I had rented a car and the three of us were, we went and we got the car. I don't know how we got there. We went and got the car and then we drove from the rental agency across the street to a different um, strip mall or like American size type mall, like outdoor thing. Anyway, um, so then I parked the car. There was a whole bunch of cars in the parking lot. I parked the car in front of a boat, of all things, a boat in a parking lot. And I figured, okay, well, I will know where I've parked the car because when I come out of the store, I'll look for the boat, right? So we went into wherever and then we came back out and the parking lot was completely empty except for the boat and a bunch of people hanging around the boat and my rental car had been stolen. So then of course I'm freaking out because I have to go to a job interview why I have my sisters with me for a job interview, I have no idea. And I couldn't even remember where my job interview was or which company, what the company name was or what it was called or anything. And I look in my purse and all I've got in this huge, huge purse is my phone and the credit card receipt for the car rental. But the car rental receipt didn't have the company name or a telephone number or anything on it. So I couldn't even remember where I had rented the car from. So I'm just like running around, literally crazed, trying to remember where my job interview is and I can't phone them because I don't know, remember who it is. I can't phone the rental company because I can't remember who it is. Now remember at the beginning of the dream, we had just driven across the street. So then somehow I end up on this tour bus it's just a short bus, tour bus, and it's full of uh, tourists. It's still dark outside, but just getting a little bit lighter. And um, I'm still frantically trying to remember, one, where's my job interview? And trying to figure out now how I got on this freaking tour bus. And then this woman 
kept saying to me, let me see your receipt, let me see your receipt, let me see your receipt. And I'm like, shut up. And then I start walking toward the front of the bus and then it's just going down, it just starts going down this hill. I'm not kidding, like it was almost a 90 degree angle and I just went, oh shit. So the bus goes down and then we turn a corner at the end and then all of a sudden there's a mud a mudslide coming for us. So the bus driver turns around and starts to go in the other way, but there's like every single angle in this uh, intersection, there's mud just coming at us. So then um, the van gets full up with mud and I'm like this, I'm just like bobbing at the top of the mud thinking, okay, I am done for. And then I woke up like how freaking weird is that? I have no idea what any of that means. And then this morning, I had a dream that a sinkhole sucked up the parking uh, structure from my aunt's building next door and was starting to uh, collapse the building where she lives. And then of course I ran over there and it's winter time, I ran over there with just sandals on and then I woke up. Like, where are all these crazy dreams coming from? Like the stress is just, it's the, the stress this week is just going crazy. It's driving me literally nuts. So anyway, accountability, sorry for the tangent. Accountability, yeah, my mental health state right now, not very good. Um, so it's, it's easier to stick with um, an exercise plan um, and a, a lifestyle change if you have someone to either share it with or be accountable to so that you can um, get support from someone um, and someone to say hey how's your exercise uh, plan going or how's your new eating plan going don't call it a diet um, I'm not doing this diet to lose weight though I need to lose flab I don't need to lose weight. I don't even know how much I weigh. I don't own a scale and I haven't for probably 12 years. Um, I want to get healthy. That's the whole plan. I want to get healthy because I've put on some flab over the past few months since uh, the pandemic started and uh, the stress is getting to be a little bit, um, it's, it's a lot and we're still in lockdown in Toronto so it's going to be even longer um, also my, I have osteoarthritis in my spine from the top down to the bottom. The last three, um, discs are, um, degenerated. Um, so when my core muscles go all to mush, my spine is very, very painful. So I've been having difficulties for the past couple or three months with, um, uh, with my back. So I need to and I want to strengthen that back up a few years ago I was like exercising every day I had friends that I exercised with fairly regularly and I exercised regularly so I had abs like you could actually see definition of abs and everything now all you see is flabs <laughs> flabs uh, so I want to I want to get back to that where I had no back pain um, unless I did something stupid I have a few like little clips coming up as well um, or maybe I'll intersperse the clips with this rant but yes I am struggling this week really quite a lot um, the stress is getting to me uh, and nightmares getting to me I guess the stress is causing the nightmares probably I haven't had nightmares in, I don't know how long um, so Today I have done a workout, I did some yoga, um, I would really like some chocolate and I would really like a drink but I can't have chocolate and I can't have alcohol. I even emailed my boss and said, um, I'm going to take a lunch break and watch puppy videos on YouTube because <sighs> my, yeah, she and I were both just saying that people just need to go away and leave us alone. So, so I just went out for a lovely walk to get my groceries, some food for the week. So all of this is uh, according to my um, autoimmune protocol elimination phase 
and four this week. I think it was about $67. I only got one packet of meat because I, I get a regular meat delivery um, from a farmer. But this I'm going to uh, make a recipe later this week um, to test out another uh, recipe for dehydrating for backpacking. And some frozen berries because they're um, a very, very nutritious um, and uh, good for you snack. And it's really good. Like You can put them in the blender and they're like ice cream. Put some coconut milk on it. So oh, there's my um, fruits and vegetables for the week. Um, yeah, that's about $67. Not bad, I guess. And my meat delivery later in the week will be another $50 or so. Yeah. This is the first time we've seen sunshine and blue sky in Toronto in I think about three weeks, something like that. Honestly, this is so very welcome. I'm standing on my balcony in a tank top, <laughs> but look, it's nice to have sunshine. Oof. It's 
a little bit chilly though. That has been my uh, week this week. Um, I hope yours has been a whole lot better. Um, I hope the insanity stops pretty soon because I don't know how much more we can take. And yeah, I'm gonna go make some dinner and then I'm gonna have a bath because I stink. I've done a lot of working, working out today trying to get rid of some of this energy and stress. So a nice hot bath and reading a book will help or maybe more puppy videos what if I take my ebook into bath and watch puppy videos on YouTube while I'm in the bath that should be relaxing maybe I'll try that I'm always afraid I'm gonna dump it in the water though anyway we'll see how that goes I'll let you know thank you so much for watching um, thanks for supporting my new channel. Um, if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button. Um, comment below, subscribe. You don't have to hit the notification bell because I hate the notification bell myself. It's just, it's annoying. But, you know, come back every now and again if you want to. Um, if you have anything you want to share um, with us in, in the comments, like, how are you doing through this pandemic? Are you stressed out this week as well? Um, let's have a chat. Yeah. Let me know what you feel in the comments. It really helps us out. Thanks.